It is now up to the jury. Both prosecutors and the defense made their closing arguments in the Michael Draga manslaughter case today. Draga is on trial for killing Marquise McLaughlin outside a Clearwater convenience store where the two men argued over McLaughlin's girlfriend parking in a disabled person's space. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is live tonight at the Pinellas County Courthouse. Eric, the jury has started deliberating. Allison, it took prosecutors and uh, the team about three, a little bit more than that, hours to make their final case, make their final arguments to the jury. And as you said, Michael Draca's fate is now in the jury's hands. What's amazing is, is that this is all based upon that same piece of video and the two sides really could not be farther apart on their perception of what happened outside the Circle A convenience store in Clearwater back in July 2018. Again, despite the shooting being captured on video, the defense urged the panel to look at that video in real time. Try to feel the way that Michael Draca must have felt after being pushed to the ground, forced, they say, to defend himself. But prosecutors say Draca was a vigilante, a hothead looking for trouble. Marquise McLaughlin, they say, had stepped back before the fatal shot was fired, appearing to turn and retreat. At that point, they say, Draca's actions became criminal, not self-defense. You can't just say, I saw him running towards me, and now it's okay to kill somebody. You look at the evidence, Marquise was retreating. It doesn't matter what he says. From the moment he was pushed, he decided to kill Marquise. That's it. Wasn't Mr. Draca's behavior that's an issue, as much as the state wants you to think, it was Mr. McLaughlin who had the problem here. It's Mr. McLaughlin that decided to put hands on first in this situation. Mr. McLaughlin was the cause of his own death. So just before sending the jury out to deliberate, the judge dismissed the three alternate jurors in the case. We were actually able to catch up with one of them. His name is Keith Bowie. And Bowie tells me that after having sat through this entire week, hearing the same evidence that he would have found Michael Draca guilty. He plans to go home tonight, watch this all play out on television, he said. And if his fellow panelists do not convict Draca, he says he would be disappointed. For now, the jury continues its deliberations. Fascinating insight there. Thank you so much. Attorney Jay Abair was on Facebook Live with me answering your questions about the case during closing arguments this afternoon. We talked about what he thinks the strongest arguments were on both sides, starting with the prosecution. He was retreating. I mean, this, this has been their focus. This has been the focus. There was a threat. The threat is now gone. It's the retreat. It's the retreat. It's the retreat. What do you think was the strongest point made by the defense in this case? Timing. Everything about this case is about timing. It's that one to four second window. The shove takes place. He goes to the ground. It's violent. Mr. Draca has to make a decision. Aber also said that he could see a hung jury in this case because in the court of public opinion, at least, there are such strong opinions on both sides. Now, if that happens, the judge would declare a mistrial and the state would have to decide whether or not to try this case all over again. We have team coverage in the courtroom, so if you want a quick recap of everything that happened during the trial each day, you can watch that right on our 10 News YouTube channel.